Hello, everyone. I hope that all is well with you guys. May the most high continue to bless you, bless your children, bless your family, your finances, and your health. First and foremost, I love you guys so fucking much. Now that that is out of the way, we can get into this message. I pray that this message find you guys all in the best health. Okay? So, I'm going to start off by letting you guys know that I have seen 883 at least like five times right so i seen it last night and it was on a repo um thing you know how they have the signs up at the store like you can't park here or shit will be repoed not repoed but it will be like yeah god damn it repo they're gonna take your shit somewhere <laughs> if you own it whatever it's called i don't know what the fuck it's called but those like the little towing companies it was on that sign I was speaking to another soul tribe member, another spiritual um, advisor. What did she say her name was? Um, anyways, I don't remember what she said her name was. But um, me and her were talking. And she... We talked about like some really serious stuff. I don't know if she want me to put her name out, so I'm not going to put her actual name out. But we were talking about, like, some deep shit, like, stuff with the government. We were, like, really scared to talk about it, you know, like, over the channel. Well, not scared, but more so just wanting to be very cautious with the things that were said. So I was like, yeah, I don't know. But then the reading that I done the other day, it was pretty much like a green light. So I was like, you know what, it's YouTube. Motherfuckers are putting all types of shit on YouTube. Like, you can't, I don't know. Like, the government, the police, they're going to fuck with us, regard, like, especially if we're teaching against them. Because we're, re we're considered their rebellious ones. Anyways, what me and her discussed, she mentioned tarot means to rat. And I was like, that's right, because this motherfucking tarot going to rat on a motherfucker so fast. But you can tell me my intuition is off whack. You can tell me anything out your motherfucking mouth. But these cards, <laughs> baby, these cards, these motherfucking cards is going to tell you something. Okay, so <clears throat> the next thing, yesterday I seen it on a license plate. It was a white GMC. And I seen it on the license plate. And I was like, oh my God, now I'm seeing it everywhere. Her phone number, my phone number, at the gas station. And then I just seen it in a completely different city last night on a sign. And I was just like, oh my God, all of our middle numbers is 883. So, of course, you know your girl. I had to go do some research. And, of course, just speaking to the chosen ones, the ones that can see the ones that can hear the ones that can feel the ones that are woke as they say um what if I, did I put it? okay oh, no that's not it oh my god okay here it is so I looked up 883 And it represents God ascends. And then it has four Israelites and then it has Antichrist. So the ones that are Antichrist, us witches, as we're being told, because we don't conform to what the fuck the government, the Freemasons, the all the motherfuckers, the wealthy motherfuckers, the one that have power, because we're not going for the bullshit that they're saying. That's the same shit that Satan done. That's why he was considered evil was because he wouldn't conform to the bullshit that they were going through. Same thing with Lilith. They speak on Adam and Eve, but they never speak about Lilith. What about Lilith? All because she withdrew from the bullshit. She didn't want to live by the bullshit that they were living by. She didn't agree with the shit that they were doing. Okay? Um... Also, I have Illinois, so Illinois could be very significant. No, Illinois was the 883. 
that was their number. So someone could be from Illinois or something that pertaining to Illinois here. Okay. The next thing was prosperity, wealth, and abundance. That is what 883 means. Prepare for an outpour of blessings from the divine. Be accommodative to others. So as a spiritual leader, we have to be accommodating to others. We have to speak to people on their level to where they can comprehend what is being given to them. But y'all know me. If well, if you know me, then you know. Like if you've been on my page enough, then you will know. I'm not against the the whole Christian thing. I don't believe in it. I don't follow it. I'm not going to live by it. But I do respect everyone and their wishes. At at some point in time, like there is people that are meant to ascend, that are meant to understand the higher knowledge. So that we can come back and give it to others. And I'm so very grateful at this point for having the platform. For the opportunity to have a platform and to meet. And to be able to um, interact with other people. And to be able to give them guidance. I personally myself am grateful just for that within itself. Okay, so the next thing. 883, it has Beer Lachey Roy. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but that is what it means in Hebrew. So I continue on. Um, and it says, The will of the living one that sees me. The will, as in where you can go to withdraw your water. In order to pour into yourself or pour into your plants or clean yourself up with, you know, whatever. Okay. And it says a place in the desert. And this lady lives in Texas and I live in Georgia. So when I seen that place in the desert, I'm like, Texas, instantly Texas. Hell yeah, that makes sense. Okay, and then it has the jawbone. It represents, like, your jawbone. So some of you guys could either have, like, a really nice face structure. Okay, the next thing is that agent of the matrix. Okay, and next it had Genesis 25 and 11. Let me pull out my Bible. Okay, let me see, let me see. Genesis, where are you? Right, 25 and 11. And it comes to pass after the death of Abraham that God blessed his son Isaac, and Isaac dwelled at Beer Lahai Roy. Now, this is the genealogy of Ishmael, Abraham's son, whom Hagar the Egyptian, Sarah's maid servant, bore to Abraham. And these were the names of the son of Ishmael by their names, according to their generations. And then it's talking about literally the lineage, the lineage. But this has Abraham's family. So I've been speaking on that. The daughter of Abraham, you're now Lucy. And look, 22. Imagine that. Year 2022. 22 also represents the spiritual knowledge. It's like you have spent your time 
maintaining the knowledge and now it's time for you to actually apply the knowledge that you have that's what 22 represents even in the spiritual realm um it says the ancient shrine or the holy place and we were just talking about the georgia guidestones and how someone went and destroyed them or whatever my seer health is not up to par long COVID, and that was another thing that we had talked about we were talking about COVID. she's like oh i don't know if they're gonna flag my account you know i don't want my account to be taken down because of the things that we're saying or you know the things that we're teaching but i personally am i don't know if she did i haven't checked her page but i personally will be the first one to tell you that everything that you have been taught, especially if you are Christian, it has been absolutely backwards. They use Christianity to start slavery. Our ancestors were not able to tell us because they did not know. Um, she also have been writing up or mentioning um, your name, your lineage, you know, like what is connected to you. So, Definitely, um, get to know yourself, get to understand what your bloodline means, what your bloodline represents, what does your family mean, like what, you know, and that's with the good and the bad, like with my family, and this was so random, because my grandmother's name is Hamilton. That was her maiden name was Hamilton. So while we're on the phone, she's just sitting there just reading off all the different list of names and all of that. And so she said Hamilton. And I was like, mm, read that one out to me. I didn't say anything, but I was like, come, just read that out to me. She said distillery. <coughs> they did something with distillery. And so I'm like, you know what? That's mighty fucking funny. Because my grandmother was a bootlegger before she fucking passed. Not only that, our family is full of fucking alcoholics. No weed, no hard drugs, just alcohol. That's inviting spirits in. It's no better. But then again, that would make sense as to why is so many fucking alcoholics in my family going back to why the fuck I don't drink. We are going to break that fucking generational curse. We're not going to continue on with that fucking vicious ass cycle. Okay. Um. Your health is not up to par. That could go for us as in making sure that we're taking care of ourselves. But that is also, with it having long COVID, that just goes back to show that this is the time for COVID. Like, this is going to be a long, drawn out, you know, sort of situation. I didn't even know that they had a new strand out, but they do. I think it was VA5, and what was crazy is because a couple months back, I said that it was going to be more. And I said that it was going to be BA, but I put three on there. So I was like, shit, I can't really flex a motherfucker. Like, I told y'all, I told y'all. Because I didn't really have it right. But then again, I actually did. It's all a part of the sororities and all of that shit. I don't remember exactly what it is. But you know how they have like the table of elements and then they have the different things in it? That sort of thing. Everything is scientific, honestly. Um... That was on Thursday when we had that discussion. Yeah, the reptilians are trying to get the entire planet to themselves, the entire land to themselves. 
that's why we're over there in um, Ukraine over there fighting because it has Rebecca gave birth to twins right so Esau Rebecca the hairy child is red so someone could have red hair or it's just like a really hairy person Jacob represents the home or the tent and Isaac was 60 whenever Rebecca had the twin. So don't give up and lose faith on, you know, having a child. I have been around a lot of people lately that have been having issues with that. So, um, also get some of this. If any of you guys are having like, um, low sex drive or, you know, like sexual problems, this powder is definitely going to help. Contact me if you guys are interested in it. Um, go and look it up. You can order it on Amazon. You, it's plenty of places, okay? So, it's always there, and I'm always willing to help. She was also mentioning where she thinks in the shots um, that they are injecting people with HIV or they're, like, easier prone to having HIV. And I let her know that I have heard that it was a few months back. I didn't get that download, but I definitely seen it somewhere. And so it's like they're pretty much telling you that the shit that they're not giving y'all, I mean, the shit that they are giving y'all is not good, but they're still going to give it to you anyways, and no one's being held accountable. The CDC isn't being held accountable. The CIA, um, not the CIA, um, none of the the representatives or any of the pharmaceuticals, the labs, like none of that shit. Nobody that is over this shit is actually being held accountable for it. Okay. So that goes back to, again, the reptilians trying to take over the land and have them for themselves. Aliens have been here for hundreds and hundreds of years. Black people, AKA the Anunnaki, AKA the chosen ones, <coughs> um, those are the aliens, the Anunnaki, the chosen, you know, this right now, we're in the, <coughs> the era of light. Also seen where they have pyramids on Mars. And I instantly thought Egyptian. The pyramids are the tent. That is the homes. I was also looking up my children's name. And I noticed that my oldest, his name is Isaiah. And Isaiah represents God saves. And it also represents someone that is a prophet. In the Bible or due to Christianity, sin starts when you eat the knowledge of good and bad. So your date, you aren't living in sin until you eat from the fruit of knowledge of good and bad. So if you don't actually step outside of the, the norm or what they're telling you, they're programming you to, then you're considered an outcast. And we always say like, oh, well, there was women or men was here first. And it's not even, you know, to try and take credit from anybody. This is just real shit. If a person is in tune with themselves, like they were talking about someone got pregnant by the moon. I mean, by the sun. Like, females can really, if they're, like, this shit is real. I, I mean, 
it's so much that I want to say and like so much just going through my brain right now. But like literally, it's like everything that you have been taught in church or like through Christianity and which is how most of us are pretty much fucking raised, especially down south. It's like they want you to believe what they tell you, not to go and look up shit yourself. Um, and also going back to Adam and Eve, Adam not leading like he was supposed to. So that is another way that men are now, you know, being led astray. And what other ways to make a foundation weak by removing the man? I preach this and I say this so much. And I say to my guys, like, we need you guys in order. If I get a read and a guy is in order, I'm, like, praising him. Because that's just what it is. We need that type of stuff. Okay. Um, also, with this, a few months back, I was getting the message where um, our ancestors were, like, trying to tell them, or our ancestors was telling them, like, fuck the recreation out there talking about, oh, well, we're going to give recreation or, you know, they're fighting for it. But then Spirit was like, but you're trying to take away the currency of, you know, money currency. How, how is that going to work? You're going to give my people money, but then try to tell them that everything is digital. Digital Bitcoins, digital everything. Everything is digital now. That's a part of the metaphor. Spirit said they don't want the recreation. They want their whole fucking planet back. I've been saying this, and I'm going to continue to say it. Our ancestors want their motherfucking planet back. These people that fucking came in, these masons that came in, they done wrote it. Also, on the headstone, it has that it's supposed to be 500,000 people million is it was some big ass number but i know it was 500 something people so it's like we are way overpopulated they were not expecting that there's been a mass awakening there's a lot of people that are waking the fuck up and that are really understanding we also like i said we have this platform on youtube we have social media so it's like they can't hide this shit from us anymore because it's there we were able to find it so it just all counts on you putting in the work to find out who you are to connect with yourself to connect with your line and you know to to heal it not just to heal it but to understand it that is the first thing to any problem is to identify what the problem is the next thing will be how can i fix this what can i do what are the necessary steps for this that is how I look at problem solving. Um, the covenant was for the Levites and the priest. The tithing is under um, Mosaic covenant. Anyways, it was for the Levites and the priest. We're no longer living in those days and those times. So it's like that shit doesn't even matter. That's why they don't really go too much on the Old Testament. They're more so on the New Testament because it's like, all right, a new world order, a new way of doing things, a new way of trying to have control. It's all a part of control. A motherfucker wanting to have more control, more power. That's anybody that has power and they get fucking greedy with it. Um, so this message is for all of my seers, all of my spiritualists, yeah, 414, it says to start calling it a plan instead of a dream so don't call it a goal or a dream or i wish i could you say my plan is to and then you know complete it okay 
and it says self-preservation. So again, making sure that you're taking care of yourself, making sure that your mind is right, your body is right, your energy, like if your or everything around you is in order. Okay, so take care of yourself mentally as well as spiritually. Eating right, exercising right, you know, those sorts of things. Okay, we have victim, survivor, to overcomer. So, and, you know, that's pretty much a part of the process of being a chosen one. You know, you were a victim to some shit that you had no control over. You survived it. And then the next step is to overcome whatever the situations are that you're being faced with. Oh, and then another one, another thing. This is a side note. Um, I mentioned on the 3rd, something about fucking up the church money. That was the same day that Clefo, Creflo O'Donnell did his sermon. And I went back. I just noticed that shit yesterday. And I went back and I was like, oh, my fucking God. I was just talking about somebody fucking up the church money. And here this man go. But I ain't gonna get on him. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, God damn it. Okay. Um, let me see. Yeah. Okay. You're built. You're not bought. You're earned. You've earned the things that you have or that you want. You're not given whatever it is that you want. You hustled, not had shit handed to you. You're rare, not average. You're not an average Joe. Okay. Um, yeah, 144. Merrill Lynch. That is through the Bank of America. Like, that's through financial corporations here. And that is also a part of you know, the big wigs. To name off a few of the big wigs so y'all can get an idea of what I mean by those that are in power. Merrill Lynch. What do they do to black people? They fucking lynch them. That's what they've been doing. And they still doing it now. It's motherfucking reports of people being found hung all over the place. And it blows my fucking mental. Because who the fuck does that? And why the fuck would you do it? Definitely racial profiling. Um, Rockefeller. Um, who was some of the other people? Rockefeller, the um, the pharmaceutical companies, the banking companies, the judges, the lawyers, the all of those. People that have authority, that have power, those are the same ones that are Freemasons. So those are the same ones that are going to go against anything that's right, <laughs> pretty much. They're going to go against the grain. Um, okay. Yeah. That was all I have for that, guys. So, 30 minutes in. I hope that you guys were able to get something. I know that was kind of all over the place. But, i definitely be having a word for y'all. And I'm sick of uploading. <laughs> what was this shit on, on Instagram? I'm sick of uploading. What did they say? Viral content. And only getting three likes. <laughs> or three views or some shit like that. No, I think it was three likes. Shit to tell these people, but I am also confident, like I always say again, I know that the message are going to reach those in due time. My Instagram have definitely been jumping, so I'm probably going to go to Instagram and TikTok. I know that I need to so that I can get more messages out, but I just like to do this way, so that way I will be able to get the full message. 
and get a full understanding on things. Okay, so you guys cleanse the energy. Please only be receptive to the energy and the message that is for you. Again, this message is going to be for my chosen ones, those that are seers, those that can see things. Spirit has given you the ability to see ahead of time. Oh, baby, speaking of seeing ahead of time, why the fuck did I instantly, while I was reading the scripture, I instantly thought deja vu. The reason why we have deja vu and they say, you know, we're in another dimension. And then they were talking about how Cyrus is 400 light years away. So it's like that's the next planet. Like, you know, it's. I feel like something pertaining to Mars. I feel like that's where like we go in the next level or like that's how we're able to see these different things because we've already lived this life before or we're all like if we're in the 3d and then we have the 5d or like our higher selves are on a different planet y'all may dead ass think that i'm crazy but that instantly came to me so if it's clicking with you if you start getting chills and it starts to click with you then you will know for sure that I'm not bullshitting. But you just think about it. Deja vu. You're doing something that you have never done before, but you have seen this shit play out right in front of your fucking face. You're like, wait a minute. I've been here before. You're right. You actually have been here before. Your higher self have been here before. Possibly 400 years ago. Or if not, then it's, like I said, it's going back to it being your higher self. I'm going to tap into that, and then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to do a video on this shit, because that's what I'm, I'm honest to God. And that's what I honest to God think. Stop letting these people fucking shoot you up with shit. Um, also, authenticate your birthrights. If you guys are, like, financially set and stable or whatever, definitely authenticate your birthrights. That is like so many benefits. You're able to like get all of your bills and stuff paid off. You're able like just to get yourself back. Because if you have a birth certificate, you have been sold to the state. So we are technically all slaves. If we have a birth certificate, we are considered a slave to whatever state we got our birth certificate in. Also, they say that black people aren't humans. So that's why they're able to have control over us and kill us and get away with shit. So if y'all are seeing all these police officers and shit that are getting away with murdering people, that is fucking because they're a part of the top dogs. They have that authority. They have that position. So if you want to take control back over your own life, authenticate your birthrights. It is hella benefits. I think it's some shit where the police can't fuck with you um and some other shit but you know it's definitely hella benefits in that um let's see let's get an affirmation card for my chosen ones those that are seers hearers Tasters, <laughs> smellers, my clairs. Where is my clairs at? What's going on? I love your precious soul. Spirit is so thankful for the connection that you guys share. And I am thankful for you being here. Okay. And this is anyone. This goes to anyone. Not just tarot card readers. Anyone here that is, you know, in order. So where God is able to speak to them, God is able to use them. Spirit is able to use them, not God, but spirit. The most high is able to use you for the betterment of society in order to save the planet. I've been picking up save the planet for so fucking long. Planet, uh, what is it? Nebru? Neb yeah, Nebru. Uh. I ain't even gonna say it because I don't got all the details. I don't even know how to say it. Anyways, let's see. 
Okay, well, I just got three here. Today, I live in the present. Today, I will start with a smile. I am in control of my attitude. And that's crazy, because I started this reading off with a smile. <laughs> okay. I try to make sure that y'all can see me, so y'all can see your girl. Wow, today I feel healthy. Today my mind is clear, my body is healthy, and my soul is at peace. And I said self-preservation. And there it is. Living in the present moment. That's something that you automatically have to do in order to get the fucking messages. That's just all it is. Okay, today I am accepting. Today I will open my heart and listen with an open mind to new ideas and to new opportunities. So listen, like I said, opening your mind to new ideas. The things that they have told us, we are not going for that fuck shit. Accept and respect everyone for their religion, but that doesn't mean that you have to stop telling the word or telling the truth okay so let's see what else here what else do you have for the chosen ones for your babies look it says growth Actions speak louder than words. So by showing motherfuckers how you can grow. Oh, yes, 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 yes. That was in there. That was in there. I'm sorry. I did not read that part. Um. Damn. Where? Grow. Yeah, look at this. This is spiritually discerned and spiritually protected. So y'all folks are good. Like, all the way good. Okay. And this one says balance, love, power, happiness, and goal-oriented. A flamingo. So you guys could be seeing a flamingo. But again, it's representing having balance within yourself, tapping into your powers, and being happy, operating in love. But listen, let's go back to this growth. Because it was saying something like, uh... Yes, people that are um, in opposition to the rebuilding, they're turning their, insult, their insults back on their own heads. Give them as plunder in the land of captivity. Feeling that a person or a thing is beneath consideration or worthless. Disregarding for something that should be taken into account. So you can have motherfuckers that are telling you, all oh, you not right, all oh, you X, Y, and Z, all this blah 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 and yet it's the whole time it's motherfuckers that's actually agreeing to the shit that you're going through or you know the shit that you're saying so it's like you're carrying a heavy project you cannot go down you know regardless of what anybody else is saying you have grown from your life yeah Failure proves I'm not perfect, not unmotivated, not absent of ambition. Joy isn't met with accomplishment. And that's something that this society tried to, you know, if you're well-established or if you're X, Y, and Z, then you're accomplished. If you went to school to get a degree, then you're well-accomplished. You're, you're going to be respected more versus someone who doesn't have a degree. But how many stupid motherfuckers have you seen that doesn't even have the slightest piece of fucking sense? How many people do you know that have these fucking master's, bachelor's, associate degrees, and then they don't do shit with them? How many motherfucking people you know that are going to school, that are getting all these degrees and shit, and which is also a, a form of manipulating, institutionalized, keeping people institutionalized, these fucking kids can't even talk at lunchtime. The kids cannot talk at lunchtime in school. What kind of bullshit is that? <laughs> I don't understand it. Um, okay. And even if you don't have anything, you are fighting the enemy 
when you got nothing because it's grace attached to your life. Um, okay, where was the other one? Oh, Christianity is um, really Catholic. It's all based off of Catholic. Look up who King James is. That whole Jesus being born is King James. That's why it's his fucking book. Why are we living our life based off of a book that someone else wrote? They're condoning slavery. They're condoning incest. They're condoning just all types of fucking bogus ass shit. Okay, and art is just too much for me. Um, so I would definitely be absolutely fine with being called Satan's seed or you know, what the fuck ever people want to label you as. Allow them to do just that, chosen. Okay. Yeah, 144, Bambi bites back. And then I had a dream that same fucking day. And it was like a confirmation. But I don't remember the dream. Yeah, look. Living in prophetic times is unstoppable. So they can't do anything. Yeah, look. Like it says, we stand with Ukraine. But then it says no standing. So... Which one is it? Are we with them or are we against them? You either with me or against me, oh. <laughs> okay. All right, that's for somebody. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's right, because I was talking about 401 and then that's because she mentioned 401 and i was like girl yes i've been doing that it says be kind to people you can't beat that with a bat a man denying cat a man being in order you can't beat that shit with a bat okay and again outcast it's easier to coexist with others if you just allow people to be themselves deliberate living so, again, this is a part of deliberate living. It's by living in the present moment. Associating with like-minded people. Yeah, Asher. It represents being happy or being blessed. It's one of the 12 tribes of Israel. The ones that they tried to destroy is now in leadership. Use them to show people how to grow through faith. Keeping a positive mindset. And going back again to understanding what your name means. And you know what? It's crazy as fuck because now that I think about it, I just, my name is Andrea, but I just recently did that shit. And I went and looked up what my first name means. I did not look up my last name. I looked up what my first name means, what I was given. And this says, A, you are your own person, a natural leader, ambitious and free thinking. N, you are an outside of the box kind of person, creative and original. You are also strong-willed with the opinion to match. D, you are grounded and pragmatic. You have a great system in place for getting things done, which is great. Okay, it also, what does the name Andrea mean in, like, through their personality? It is a name that invokes logical reasoning. You are possibly intelligent, intuitive, graceful, and even a psychic. Oh, my soul, bruh. When I seen this, I was like, oh, my fucking God. 
how did it take me this goddamn long to actually fucking see this? And I will even show y'all the day. This was June 16th. And just so happened, me and this lady was discussing names. I'm telling y'all, it, it, this shit fucking blew me. It, it just absolutely blew me. Okay? So we're going to finish off. We got A-N-D. R means to feel things strongly. Seers. And you're rich. Intense inner life emanates outwards. You also have the excellent work ethics and can do your job with high amounts of energy. E means you are freedom, loving, sensual, and enthusiastic. You believe strongly in falling in love. In fact, you may do it quite often. You can see a situation from different sides. Just so y'all won't think that I'm bullshitting you. I'm telling y'all, when I seen this, I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. It says, you're not lazy, unmotivated, or stuck. After years of living your life in survival. Oh, baby, thank you for coming to me because I was just talking about being a victim, being a survivor, and then a motherfucking overcomer. In survival mode, you are exhausted. There is a difference. So even if you feel like you're not quite moving, you're not quite doing, you know, the things that you know that you are supposed to be doing, it does not mean anything. You have went through life and now this is, like I said, a part of applying the principles, growing and learning. Okay? I'm not going to sit here too much longer. Yeah. Okay, so this is on everything I love. Nothing is more important than your health. Stop spending time with people who bring you to the gutter who treat you like trash or who disrespect you. You need to be loved, nurtured, and respected. Go there or be alone until people come. You know, until your type of person comes. The one that's going to be equally yoked with you. But that's also representing the black sheep. Um, so yeah, that was definitely something. It just brought it back, baby. Just brought it back. All right, Spirit, let's get one more. One more shuffle for the collective for your seers. A foolish man listened to his heart, not his motherfucking intuition. A foolish person listens to their heart and not their intuition. Let's get one more spirit. One more for my chosen ones. Thank you. Yeah, look. Look, and that fell on top of action. Speak louder than words. The law of focus. Yeah, look. Being held as a prisoner. So instead of you being held as a slave, as a prisoner... You're using the law of focus now. Yeah, look. If you look back, then you'll soon be going that way. So if you're looking back into the slavery days and into all of that shit, then you're going to be going that way. You go wherever your eyes go. Yeah, look. Act when necessary. So again, actions speak louder than words. The, the lifestyle... Yeah, look, the lifestyle with you making better choices here. Making better choices to nurture and to love and care for yourself. I was also getting, um, Christianity is like, um, uh, what was it? 
a codependent thing. It has you codependent on something else outside of yourself. Look, I will preserve. Today, nothing will worry me. All of my work, all of my problems will pass in time. Yeah, look, growth. Today I will focus on learning to grow into becoming a better person. And I hope and pray that you all do. Okay, I love you guys so, so, so fucking much. Oh, my wrist. Yeah, look, your heart is pure and your intentions are good. You love with everything inside of you. Okay, this says, I hold intentional space for relaxing, releasing, and reflecting. All right, Spirit, what other messages do you have for my chosen ones? What messages do you have for my chosen ones? is here intuitive thoughtful writers this could be someone's birthday as well something between july 14th and the 28th could be very significant okay so pay attention to those times Yeah, look, playing games with a good girl the whole time or a good guy because there's there's good guys out here. The whole time they're playing themselves in the end. Yeah, and look, stop identifying with the pain. Now you have a voice and power. Give yourself, give others. Oh, shit. Okay. So, someone has played games with you. Now spirit is telling you to heal from your childhood pain. Stop identifying with the pain. That could be a part of the growth. You're no longer identifying with the pain. You now have a voice and power to forgive others and to take back your own personal power, all of your energy, all of your power. Live in the present moment. Living in the past makes you relive it. So again, that's going to have you kept as a prisoner if you're not focused. But I feel like you guys have grown from this. It's like, again, you're, you're healing from shit. Okay? Spirit guys, ancestors, what else would you like for the collective chosen to know? Look, yeah, you're about to meet the reason why you couldn't settle. Shit gonna be smooth like butter. What else is going on, Spirit, for my chosen ones? Oh, look. You hurt my baby, now you must pay. What I told you. Spirit, our ancestors is not fucking playing. It says, if you're going to let me down, then let me down gently. A lack of hope. Taking it easy. Don't expect the worst. You guys could have lacked faith. Yeah, look. Free yourself in order to let go fully and to love yourself. Erase the jaded thoughts. And this has smooth like butter, baby. Putting in overtime.
yeah, keep pushing regardless because Source is going to help you in whatever ways it is that you are needing help. Yeah, look. Okay, so someone here has a Sagittarius moon. Oh, baby. Yes, yes, yes. This is for you. This is for you. Okay? Sagittarius moon. So if any of you guys have Sagittarius moon, this message is for you. You guys are about to find clarity here. Okay, this says Romans 1 and 8. The pain you have felt cannot compare to the joy that is coming. So if you've been going too hard, definitely take it easy on yourself. Take it light. Chill. Get more rest. Drink more water. Eat better. Oh, baby, listen. Who run the world, girl? <laughs> Anyone who goes against the mother, the mother planet. This is Mother Earth. Mother Gaia. They're going to pay for it. Yeah, look, you grow, you glow different when your confidence is fueled by your belief in yourself versus seeking external validation. So again, you're not seeking external validation. Excuse me. You are actually, you've grown from that. And now you know, like, this is not even... Yeah, look, your ancestors have worked together to bring a big blessing into your life. Whatever else, yeah, the best revenge is letting people see that they ain't stop shit. And whatever people are saying or doing, that shit is not even worth it. So if you have people that are, yeah, look, anything that burdens, binds, bury, or box you, may it be released. And I feel like spirit is actually going to do that. Yeah. They're going to replace them people. All right, Spirit, what else do you have for my chosen ones? Look, the truth will set you free. Okay, someone here could be a natural woman. Okay, solar plex. represents yellow we have a yellow card out here oh wow that's crazy because my shirt even has yellow in it oh baby listen and then here goes survival mode do breathing work do breathing exercises deep breaths in and out but listen I got yellow in my shirt. It says the dream is free, but the hustle is sold separately. Yeah, you can finally be free, vulnerable, and available. Good people never lose value. Now, if you're with somebody that doesn't value, and you don't even understand. Yeah. Okay. So this says, if you're prepared to adapt and learn, then you can transform. When that door you've been knocking on suddenly swing open, don't ask why or how. Just run for it and know that spirit is working on a big blessing in your life. This says shaman. So again, this is healers. These are people that do divination. They're custodians of this earth. They're prophets. They escort souls into the dead and the afterlife. We have holistic here. So like holistic healers. 
to show respect to a multitude of gods by making sacrificial offerings to them. Okay? And it says keep choosing love. Even if you're brokenhearted, you have suppressed feelings, you're being treated unfair, you've been abused, gaslighted, neglected, hurt, you have a broken family. It's better to love and to lose than to never love at all. There's people that has never been in love before. They have never experienced love. They don't know what love is. They've never had someone to love and to nurture them. And that's what we are here for. Okay, and also for my masculine, I'm not going to not gonna leave you out, babies. Okay, this says a man who masters patience, communication, and loyalty can master anything else in life. So as long as you're staying in order, everything is going to be good. Okay, so Spirit, what else do you have for my chosen ones, please? Shit, why they cars keep falling like this? I've taken time to heal. Ain't no way in hell I allow you to play with me. I'm not a sucker. Yes, Lord. Things get tough when you get so close. You see what others cannot because you're in position. And to be a thou wow with y'all. These are damn near the only two cards that I even have in my deck pertaining to this sort of stuff. So, I mean, this is, this is good. Yeah, look. A masculine could be welcoming change here. You're growing masculines. You're getting guidance. Your path is clear. You may felt like you made a wrong turn, but you're on the right path. So if you guys have been seeing 333, then this is definitely for you, masculines. Okay. Yeah, and 711. This says, may spirit shut the mouths of your enemies that are speaking against you. If spirit is with you, then who can be against you? Nobody. Okay. Nobody whatsoever. Oh, listen to this. The final stage of healing is using what has happened to you in order to help other people understand insight 777 so that's definitely a spiritual awakening spiritual growth someone is growing here you guys have to take it wherever you you know wherever you can get it but this is hmm this is good honey There's a masculine that's leaving a karmic that it just keep wanting to fall out. Yeah, look, heaven on earth. Okay. Oh, even in the Bible, man was out of order. Same shit that I just said. When will you take your power back, masculines, and learn to stand up for yourself and for these women because you are fucking ruining it? Okay. So all of my men that are in order, we absolutely love you. We praise you. We thank you. Okay, we have Othala, the walls of Asgard, ascending to king. So yeah, there's definitely a masculine that is ascending to king here. We have Yang, 333, making the right choices. So I feel like spirit is about to do something in our lives here. In these men's life as well. Yeah, look. A deep love of nature, healing, spirituality, and a hunger to learn more. Someone that is considered a witch. Universal flow of abundance, peace, and happiness. It didn't say nothing about burning in the deep abyss of hell. Okay? Because to be honest with you, earth is hell. Inner peace is something that no one can take from you or replace. That's what real success look like. 
having fucking peace. Do y'all not see all these people that have money and then they want to go and fuck with kids? Like you sick son of a fuck. Why would you want to do that? You got all the money in the world. You can do anything with your fucking money. You can buy anything. Why the fuck would you want to go and fuck with a child? I don't understand. Yeah, look. Very religious morals that are applied in spite of the situation. And that says loyal to the goodness, prayerful, helpful, love and light, and in divine order. They do right by others. They give guidance and they have good intentions. Yeah, look. Greatest of all kind. Yeah, look, the signs that you are seeing frequently aren't a coincidence. Your guides and your angels are communicating with you. You are not tripping. So if y'all start seeing 777 and 333, and then I said yellow, right? With the solar plexus chakra. Look, Geb, the god of earth, divine and absolute control, provide crops and healers. They caused earthquakes to destroy the ops. So anybody that's going against it, gotta fucking get it. The God of Earth. Yeah, if you had one shot to seize everything you ever wanted in one moment, would you capture it or would you let it slip through your fingers? So make sure that y'all aren't sleeping on any um, offers that you get. Yeah, it says you're on to something here. Keep going. Okay, Archangel Cameo. Please assist me in making the best decisions in order to meet my twin flame sooner and share with them the most beautiful experience of love and unconditional. Oh, listen. Spirit said they're going to take things to the next level, baby. Period. Yep, the universal flow fell back out. Yeah, trust that more blessings are to come your way. Be grateful for your human heart because not all have them. Not everyone has a human heart. Not everyone is compassionate. There's no fucking way I could ever kill somebody and then go to sleep. It, it just, I couldn't. And that's just me. Personally, I never could. Yeah, feeling vibrant, happy, healthy. Ensure that you love yourself enough not to ever allow someone to give you the bare minimum. Realign your chakras. Make sure that you're keeping yourself in order here. Okay, and this says the backbones, the king quality, they regulate during stressful situations. They are learners as well as teachers. They are confident in their imperfections. They know how to regulate. They have a healthy balance in communication and comprehending, and they provide mentally, physically, financially, and spiritually. Okay. Yeah. Accept the reality of each situation that you guys are facing and use the skills that you have obtained through your growth in order to help you cope and adapt with everyday life. Yeah, heal so that when someone tells you they love you, you always accept it. Yeah, I pray everything that we attract carries high harmonious vibrations and intentions. May the light within us shine and serve as a beacon of light for those that are in need. Motherfuckers want your spot, but then they, they ain't even did the work. They'll deny you, but they ain't even did the work. 
<laughs> okay. I don't know why it just that just came up, but let's see, spirit. What else do you have? Speak life into dead situations. Focusing on your growth is what's going to bring you a good life. All right, Spirit, what else do you have for my chosen ones? Damn, Ogun said that somebody dug their own fucking grave. Yeah. Funny how they are scared of witches. But then these other motherfuckers are the ones that are in the authority. The ones that are doing this type of controlling and evil ass shit. Yeah, you are the carbon that they want to reduce. A carbonated being. We have Ogun here. That's representing war. The Orishas of Iron. Iron Age is what I just heard. Stabilization. Protection. Tools, security, an oath, justice, and oath. So again, that goes back to the wealthy motherfuckers. Yeah, I'm attracting the right people and circumstances in my life. So mote it be. And it says, may your next boo be filled with love, laughter, loyalty, orgasms. And peace. Okay. Someone could have tried to kick you while you were down. I didn't even see that. This could have been a co-parent. I'm getting a lot of co-parent energy. I don't know. Okay, we have good energy. And then we have thank you, Spirit, for providing for my family needs. Please guide my steps so that I make money in meaningful ways. Thank you, Spirit. All right, what else do you have for the collective chosen? Yeah, there could be some deceptive ass people that are around you. Gracefully sitting on the throne. Don't feed into the low vibrating bullshit. Okay, let's see what's going on. Okay, so within the next 12 hours, keep your energy protected. You're having a transformation in life. Make sure that you protect your energy from lust is what I just think. a Gemini rising that just wants to be appreciated and there's nothing wrong with that. There could be a stalker here. That is having a difficult time making decisions or they're distorted here. Okay, but for those of you that are on the good side of things here, your healing work has been completed. Yeah, and then white magic. Okay, so defensive magic here, manifesting good things, giving yourself self-love, stability, protection, healing. That is all the things that white magic, that witches, 
the good witches are here for. You know, they're not to, yeah, somebody, look, to work against demonic influences. Somebody is about to get into an argument. I just said somebody could be fighting here. Emotional outburst. Or maybe like this is something that you went through. I don't know, y'all. Yeah, never let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Please don't feel bad for withdrawing. We all understand that you are going through it. Oh, shit. Okay, so somebody attempted to steal your person, your money, and your lifestyle. Use your authority to bless your journey. You have the power. And your cup is going to be pouring over into abundance. Pouring over in abundance. Okay, so... emperor oh shit and then empress okay honey accepting what comes and allowing shit to leave when it's motherfucking time because there is a season and a reason for everything okay um what's for you will be for you effortlessly kings and queens that's crazy because they never fall out right behind each other so this is definitely fighting okay and follow the king I will allow myself to know what makes me happy and I will be the leader in my own life. Tapping in with yourself. Period. Period. A person of integrity here. They aren't easily swayed by others. They don't pay no attention to them. They're going to teach the way of spirit according to the truth, regardless of who like it and who don't. Let's get clarity on Emperor vibes. What's going on with my Empress? I love y'all so much. What's going on? Okay, you feeling good? You looking good? Ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't no with it my king all right what's going on with the empress smack dead in the middle of a transformation so empresses y'all are in this transformation yeah look transformation right smack dab in the middle of a goddamn transformation stay focused keep your energy protected stay grounded that's why it said 12 hours protect your energy so make sure that you are, you know, keeping yourself balanced. Yeah. Ugh. Breaking codependent shit. Someone has broken through the codependent shit. Oh, I didn't even see this. Look, star seed. Yes, I crave intimacy, but I don't want temporary people touching my mind, body, or soul. And that is breaking through the codependent energy. You might limp away, but you will never be the same. Turning your loss into power and your grief into glory. Yeah, look, stepping out of your comfort zone into cosmic power. You will do what you put your mind to. Whatever this is that you focus on, using the universal laws, you're able to manifest. Palladians, sirens, um, lyrens, procyon, arcadians, and andromedians are star seeds characteristics here. So you guys can definitely pause the video. Palladians are intuitive and empathic. Sirens are 
um, the ones that have to heal from the trust issues, they're usually really shy and really creative. The Arcadians build and plan. They have really good memory. I was about to say a really good movie. So you guys could be watching a good movie or you're needing to. Okay, and the Lyrans is a sense of justice. So it's like they, they're here to serve justice sort of thing. Okay. And then we have Andromedian. Those are the ones that are free spirited, free will. Okay, the Procyon. Yeah, strong worth ethic. So Procyon. And then this has a workaholic, an overthinker, someone who has anxiety, hard to sit still. Yeah, that is a light trauma response. All right, here, what's going on here? Find your purpose, then find your partner. Okay, Saturday, a female fire sign in a toxic marriage. Hell, obsession, loss of power, catastrophic event, or bad weather. So it could be storming somewhere. Saturday, today is Saturday. Saturday is used for banishing, bringing things to an end, binding, protecting, and cleansing yourself. They pray in on your downfall. It says somebody wanted to take your motherfucking money, your person, your life. Okay, this says, teach me something, tell me your life lessons, discuss your journey, be your authentic self. Someone that loves to read and write here, for sure. <clears throat> okay. Female fire signs. I was not expecting this. Okay, so... Let's see what the fuck is going on here. Female fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, please. Now please have clarity for female fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Being healthy, natural, self-sufficient, spiritually connected, and independently educated is the biggest rebellion against the system. So again, going against the grain, that was going to, to piss people off. Okay, so I don't know what the fuck going on. Um, fire signs, let's see. What's going on with my fire sign spirit? Look, Abraham daughter. You all. <laughs> listen, baby. Listen. 90s kids. So that's our generation. Abraham's daughter. You are now loosened from the infirmities that kept you bound for so long. Circumcision. A change of heart. A believer. Luke 13 is where you can read about Abraham's daughter. So you could be the daughter to a female fire sign. Or you are this daughter. What you said was impossible is now about to be possible. Then I saw her face. I'm a believer. Let me 
say. Because I, I don't know why the fuck I just got. I don't know why the fuck that just came up, but I definitely gotta listen to it now. It, it's gonna live in my head fucking rent free if I don't just go ahead and get this out here. Okay? Then I saw her face. Now I'm a believer. Uh, Shrek. A dad in my mind. I try. Love your life and whatever it gives you. Lenders understand that directions are needed in order to meet your goals. Okay, so. Yeah, I am part of the divine. I honor the divine within me. I cherish my spirit. I am open to let go of attachments. I trust my intuition. I am connected with the wisdom of the universe and my life moves with grace. I am at peace and this is the crown chakra. So protecting your crown. So wrap your head up today. Make sure that you're keeping yourself wrapped. Um, I just think someone could be getting into a wreck, so this could be a karmic. Yup, as soon as I said karmic, karma came out. Okay. This shit could be hard for you to protect your energy and your space, but continue. Yeah, look, can't you see what's going on here? You're being insulted. May peace be still. May your frequency stay high because nothing about you is normal. These people are putting too much energy into insulting you. 
Okay, this says, I love and honor and praise your soul and the ground that you walk upon. Guidance vibes. Or queen vibes here. Okay, so somebody is definitely has been trying to insult you, but they are going to receive karma, and that is going to possibly be a car wreck. I literally just seen that. Yeah. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't do shit or that you're not hearing from spirit. You're hear hearing from the devil, that stupid ass shit. Like, shut the fuck up. Okay? <laughs> I don't know, but somebody just need to hear, shut the fuck up. Like, so if you feel like you need to tell somebody, shut the fuck up, throat chakra, say that shit. Okay? So, Archangel Gabriel, thank you for helping me to conquer any fear of opposing forces that may stand in my way. I welcome your strength and protection. Thank you for shielding me today from all darkness and fear that I may encounter. So molded be. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, look. Whoever this is that's going to wreck. Yeah, I told you this is going to be karma. This is going to be karma. Okay. This is a wreck. Someone is going to be in a wreck or they're going to need car repairs. Okay? Because they were trying to access your birth chart. They were trying to alter your life path. But you can't. If it's written in the ethers, you can't. Okay? An affirmation is, I release the past and live in the present. Trusting that all my needs are met, my emotions are valid, and intuition is on point. As I find safety and protection within myself, the world will embrace me with open arms. And it says, you're too good of a person to be going through what you have experienced. Learn, heal, and then thrive. The next one says, holding on to childhood pain, time to release. So for those of you who are still on this journey of trying to release this, you must be present. You must not relive the things of the past, but stay in the present moment that you were in right now. Okay. Yeah, no accountability equals no growth. We were born to grow. We literally grow every single day. So if someone is stuck and stagnant and they're doing the same shit, they have the same mentality, nothing's changed in their life whatsoever, do you know that that's a stuck, stagnant ass motherfucker? That's a dead seed that's just floating up at the top. Okay? Not Nothing fruitful is coming from. Okay, every day is a blessing to bring joy into your life. So make sure, even if you have someone else that's, you know, trying to fuck with you, make sure that you're operating in joy. That's going to kill them. Okay, I see Taurus and Gemini or Gemini and Cancer here. And it says the bigger they are, the harder they fall. So somebody is a big girl here. Yeah, guys. Make sure that you are reflecting on your peak of accomplishments and be proud of yourself. Embrace yourself. So even if this is something that you have, like you've went through that, you've been present, and now you're reflecting on the peaks, that is perfect. Be content regardless of what avenue you were in. The things that you are he that you are hearing right now throughout this reading are going to become clear as fuck. Yeah, look, we don't die, we multiply. You have authority to speak negative things out of your life and out of your loved one's life. Spirit, I'm asking right now that you keep our children, our spouses, our lovers protected, keep them safe. May no harm reach our loved ones. Shut the fuck up. Because as soon as I just picked up that stack, look at what the fuck is just up under it. Watch out for a friend in greed. So you could have friends here, but spirit about to resolve them problems. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spirit can handle that a little bit. A little bit.
Oh, all because you motherfucking anointed, respected, and protected. Thank you. They can't stop me now. And I won't stop now. This could be your neighbor. They could be fighting. Something gonna pop off within the next 12 hours, or it had popped off within the last 12 hours. Anyways, um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Baby, look at this. This is the motherfucking high priestess. And then look, Queen of Pentacles, Mother. The Queen of Pentacles, the one that's practical, loving, nurturing. Mother Earth, Gaia, the intuition, the higher power. Someone could be a Virgo here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <laughs> For what I just seen, baby. Listen, this is just for the chosen ones. We are not going to do nothing. We're not beating it to the fuck shit. Okay, yeah, somebody manifesting a new job. So if somebody's trying to tell you that you can't manifest a new job, you just be patient and you just wait on it. Okay, spirit, what else? Um, I can have a masculine Scorpio Pisces Cancer here. Right, Spirit, give us more clarity on this message. Who is this message going to resonate with? What is it that they need to know? Yeah, look, your spiritual growth. That's the Nine of Cups. Oh, I said that I was about to be done, y'all. I am not. This is a wish fulfillment. So, yeah, something that you're wishing for. If you were wishing for spiritual growth, I'm definitely seeing it. Look, and the Queen of Pentacles again. Listen, baby. Somebody could be visiting you. So if you're a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you can have someone visiting you. This could be an unexpected visitor. Okay. Now, with the Seven of Swords in reverse, that is a mental challenge and breaking free. So there is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that's breaking free. This could be breaking free from a friend or... No, this is the Eight of Cups. So this is... Ooh. Look at that. Justice is going to be served. Oh, baby, listen. A Libra could be having an affair with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or this is a male fire sign that's had an affair and justice is going to be served. So you guys take it however. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so with this Ace of Cups, someone, this Queen of Pentacles is getting a love offer, being poured in love. Oh no, nah, baby, this is car this karma for somebody. Yep, somebody resisting this judgment here. So okay, so first this, let's calm down. Okay, solve the problem. The tower has hit, right? So if somebody like feel like their world is crashing down on them, if that's the, the proper way to say this, a disaster, sudden changes. This also represents a fire sign here. And then the two of pentacles in reverse. So someone could be losing out on money here. Or someone's just disorganized. 
and it has to solve the problem. So the tower is falling just to solve a problem. This is definitely a king of wands here. A king of wands. So a fire sign is going through something. There's going to be like something that happens here. Okay. Then we have the four of wands and judgment. Okay. Judgment is literally judgment. Under judgment here. Um, it also represents your inner calling. That also represents Libra as well. And what was this? The devil of Capricorn. So someone could be dealing with a Capricorn. A Libra could be dealing with a Capricorn. Or this, this Libra that is not... Um, what is the devil? That's like a trans information no that's Scorpio the devil was Capricorn a breakdown in communication about judgment about your inner calling Okay, so someone's going to be finding clarity about their inner calling, about, you know, them, their path, what it is that they're supposed to be doing. Someone's definitely getting a rebirth here. What's going on with a Taurus hesitant? Okay, what is this Taurus hesitant pertaining to? Taurus hesitant. Taking a big loss. So there could be a Taurus that is very hesitant about doing something because they're afraid that they're going to take a loss. A Virgo could be taking a loss and a Taurus is hesitant. What is this? Yeah, a message. Okay, so about taking your control back. We got the chariot. So someone could be hesitant about moving forward or about starting a new beginning or about some offer. We got the Page of Cups and then the Ace of Cups. Compassion, creativity, overwhelming emotions. Then the Page of Cups is a messenger, beginnings and synchronicity. With this two of wands here. Someone's fearful of the unknown. Yeah, that's what I feel like. Somebody, you could feel like you're taking a loss with a Virgo. Or this is Virgo taking a big loss. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. Yeah, disappointed by a person. So this Virgo disappointed a Taurus. And now they're hesitant. Yeah, look, go within. Okay, so Virgo. Let's get clarity on Virgo, disappointed by a person. So a Virgo has taken a loss. Disappointed by a Aries. Or they are disappointed by someone that is a magician here. But I'm getting Aries. So a Virgo was disappointed by an Aries. Yeah, now somebody got anxiety like a motherfucker. <laughs> oh my goodness. Poor Tink Tank. But with the Ten of Cups here, that's happiness, that's marriage, that's being in alignment.
Just needing to go within. You guys are possibly under attack. Yeah. Somebody tried to have you stuck here. But you have the persistence to continue to go. Being stable together. And they're going to four of wands again. In this home. In this marriage. In this, this whole life. And rebirth. A renewal. Spirituality. So that is an Aquarius here. What's the burden? What's going on here? What's the burden? Feeling like someone have lost out on a love offer with a Leo that wasn't that didn't go as expected. Because the motherfucking devil done got a hook. I think you got a hold on me. Pride is the devil. I seen so many RIPs. All right, so the devil is get, bitch. What, bitch? This says the devil is getting, is giving up, bitch. I read that. The overly protective bondage, toxic fuck shit. I just heard the devil giving up addiction. So somebody has addictions and you're giving up on the addictions, baby girl. And that's a Capricorn again. So a Capricorn could be giving up on something. Yeah, because they're under judgment here. So the devil is working in someone's marriage. And they're about to let free. Let loose. Okay. What's going on? What's going on, spirit? All right. Welcome, love. Wow. Do you see how that just fell on top of this king of wands? So there's that Aries, Leo, Sagittarius masculine here that is welcoming love into his life. He's thinking about welcoming love into his life. Okay, what about this King of Wands here? Taking chances. With a Capricorn. So there could be to manifest money. Oh, okay. So yeah, there's a Leo that was thinking about taking a chance. A Leo Aries Sagittarius. They thought about taking a chance. What is this? It's the Eight of Pentacles. So work with someone. Education. Engagement. So someone could be getting engaged to a Capricorn. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. I'm mean, Taurus. Now, fuck. Aries, Le Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius is thinking on taking a chance and welcoming love into their life. Y'all, forgive me for all my extra shit. All right. Yeah, look. New boo, a new business idea, a new job. So someone could be working together. Yeah, realizing with this Eight of Cups here. And I said eight. It's the, wow, I said Eight of Cups. And here go the fucking Eight of Cups here. Something that a Leo was doing is not as expected. They were expecting to be celebrating something. I'm not sure if this is... Um, okay. So someone was working with someone and they realized that this new person was unrequited. 
Yeah, and their wish fulfillment is a marriage here. Or some type of organization. Yeah, that someone's moving on from. But they're in tears with this Ten of Cups. So it's like they really don't want to. Because that's, yeah, that's the Ten of Cups again. So we got the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups. So they've walked away from their wish fulfillment. Yeah. Okay, a small gift or a small call privately. And then somewhere from the past or this is a reunion here with the Six of Cups. Okay, have good thoughts about this. You're attracting luck. There could be delays and you're feeling lonely. But stay focused. Yeah, there's swift changes being brought. Okay. Someone is depressed. Feeling like they have been left out in the cold. Yeah. And they're resenting this. Yeah, they're resenting crossing someone in love here. You could be getting a letter or some type of communication, a call or something with someone that has a hidden agenda. A lover or a Gemini that has a hidden agenda. So you guys could, who is it? Oh my goodness, let me see. Bitch, I cannot make this shit the fuck up. Why the fuck this says Zoomerang? Boomerang. So whatever the fuck these people are doing. Okay, this was about vacation Bible study. And I just, so yeah, I just said an unexpected visitor. Did I or did I not, bro? Y'all just heard my motherfucking door. I just said somebody is going to be visiting. Oh my God. What the fuck? Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, somebody's feeling like there's a woman here. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that feels like she had been left out in the cold and misfortunate. Yeah, and losing out on money. They're depressed because they're losing out on money. The Knight of Wands is not taking action, though. <clears throat> yeah, scatter energy and delay. So, it's like, shit, if that's what you got, look. If that's what you got, then that's because you ain't putting in the work. Okay, there are secrets about why this love with this Leo is out of order. There's an Aquarius involved as well. And that's the truth. Got a toxic motherfucker woman in the family that is older, that is competition. Okay, so, yeah, look. Lot Cancer, Virgo, Lie or Apart. So... High Priestess, so there is a Virgo and or a Cancer that is apart right now, or there is a Cancer and a Virgo that is lying about something. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, this Magician, 
about to give them bad news. I said somebody with this Aries. And listen, yo, because I was clarifying Virgo again. Okay, so this magician here, this Virgo magician, high priestess, is the one who disappointed this person. With a bullshit ass magic that wasn't going to fucking work. They did some magic to have someone apart. Or they were lying about the work that they were doing. Yeah, there's a Sagittarius that has a health problem. That is a hard fight. Um... Okay, Cancer, a thief, bound to the past. They're celebrating someone taking action. A uh, Aries is a thief. Baby, listen, I, I'm telling y'all, who the fuck ever these people is, that's, that's, uh-uh. Look, yeah, whoever this person could be a friend to you, they you know. It's a no for me, baby. No. Your friend is worried now. Because whatever trip they took to this motherfucking priestess, they fucked now. Look, what the fuck did I say? They Somebody took a trip. And now they being motherfucking manipulated. There is a king of wands that is longing for a reunion here. Yeah. Not completing a cycle, transferring the empress, being greedy for some shit that they wanted to work on that didn't work out right. There's a cancer that's not completing their cycle, so make sure that you're healing, honey. Justice is going to be served for whoever betrayed you and whoever was stalking you. It says somebody was really obsessed that there was a groupie here that needed to get a life. Please be careful, people, because you can fuck with somebody regardless if it's the same sex or if it's the opposite sex. You can really dead ass be fucking with somebody and these bitches do not know how to let go. Okay, betrayal and loss. This is all talk, no actions, undelivered promises, being betrayed and taking a loss. And that is going to be just as fucking served. So, going back to this boomerang for the motherfucking zombies that shit is going right back the fuck to them blue can be very significant raspberry somebody like blue raspberry i was just talking about the pope and being catholic right all right i know it. marcy and then it has gary clark so someone named could be gary clark marcy Returning to the value of life, baby. That's what that says. Returning to the value of life. Do you see that motherfucking boomerang? This shit going back to the motherfuckers. You see this? This shit is going deep up back. The insecurities, the illusions, them trying to fuck with your subconscious mind that also represents Pisces is definitely a tower moment for these motherfuckers. Definitely a tower moment. So make sure that y'all have all your shit together. You don't be like me. <laughs> because um, I was clearly not expecting that, not ready for that. So definitely be expecting. This could be like, you know, someone that you know or this is like someone in your neighborhood. Um... You know, could be coming to ask for something or do something. You know, I don't know, whatever. But definitely expect someone to pop up on you. There, there's definitely about to be a visitor here, guys. Um, yeah, and if you comment for a motherfucker that's chosen, and it's like, don't. Yeah, some letter about um. Reuniting or someone from the past, getting some some information from someone from the past here. Yeah. 
Yeah, there goes the tower again. A tower for an Aries or for this motherfucking magician. Look, bad news, disappointed by a person. And that says growth. So something about your phone. Look, the motherfucking magician card fell out again. There's an Aries. I said a tower a tower moment. This is a fire sign. We got five and six here. So something could be happening between five and six. We got five, six, seven, actually. Damn. Okay, so what's five, six, seven? Okay. Let me see. Let me go back here. Then I'm going to pull from the life purpose. And then I'm going to be done, guys. Seriously, because I know that this is like forever long. But I just had so much to say. That's why I keep rambling on and on and on. <laughs> okay, so. Let me see. We got 333 and then 777. And then 567. Whatever the fuck these people did it helped you grow um five six seven okay five six seven Yeah, Aquarius. So if you're an Aquarius and you're dealing with a cancer, go, okay. It says Aquarius, cancer, withdraw from it. Aries. So if you're a cancer and you're dealing with an Aries on some bullshit, withdraw from that. You do not want no smoke. But if y'all motherfuckers do, you can get it, okay? Um, yeah, it's lovers and friends that are working against you. That's 711. So, again, the enemies made their motherfucking mouths be still shut, bitch, and made you receive all prosperity from it. Okay. Um, yeah, 777 want to pop up. Moving on, hurt. And I said something about twins. Y'all can have a groupie that's hiding in your bushes or in the trees. That's like looking, lurking and shit. Like, mm -mm. it's a no for me. That, that is, again, that goes back to being very careful on who you fuck. Cause honey, bitch, I ain't never got no dick that made me want to go fucking crazy. Ever. Yeah, seven, seven, seven. Sirens. Star seed. I would like for you guys to all know that this shit is chess, bitch. Not checkers, okay? Shit is going to come back the fuck on you. You better know what you're playing with before you be out here just in the trenches. Okay, okay. Um, I don't see five, six, seven. Let's see what five, six, seven is. I'm definitely getting like growth for sure. So you're taking like the necessary steps. Okay, so when I was doing that, I'm a believer with Shrek. That means that relates to wisdom and leadership. I told y'all I seen 777 on there. Honey, I done got sidetracked. That's how I know I'll be all over the place with my messages. So I hope and pray that y'all are keeping up with me. Oh my goodness. 567. Okay. So.
to hold oneself off. Listen, I'm trying to tell y'all five, six, seven. Who the fuck? I abstract from to keep myself from. Keeping yourself from the disappointing. To abstain. So keep yourself away from these toxic motherfuckers so that you can grow. To keep off or to prevent, to hold back. So yeah, that's what the fuck. Somebody's trying to hold you back from growing. So this could be a this is a fire sign that's trying to hold someone back from growing. And if you are not this fire sign, although I really honestly to God feel like this is a fire sign that's trying to hold someone back here, then you could be the fire sign and you could have someone that's trying to hold you back. Okay. And to be away, absent at a distance. And then that has 144 in it. So yeah, that's for sure. That's for sure, for sure. So someone tried to take away your growth, your possession to desire. Matthews 14 and 24 is what that is under. All right, Spirit. Oh, bitch, shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Bitch, I said wrap your motherfucking head. Keep yourself protected, baby. Thank you, Spirit. You heal with your classes, your sessions, and your seminars as a spiritual teacher. That's what I said. 883 represented. Spirit is working this shit out. Again, bitch, we don't die. We motherfucking multiply. Protect your motherfucking self, especially if you're a speaker. You're speaking on this shit. Baby, listen. I can't make this shit up. I wasn't even looking at the cards. I was looking at my phone and it fell out. Like, here, you got it. Look, your connection to music is healing for yourself and others. And I have jazz music in the background playing. I listen to all types of music. Okay, so you never know what the fuck you're going to get here. Look, energy healing. Your spirit guides support you as you are protecting. No. Your angels are supporting, guiding, and protecting you as your dreams become a reality. Whatever your precious little heart desires. Okay? The next thing, it says energy healing. Your natural healing abilities are an important part of your life purpose. So again, realigning your chakras. I said that about aligning and doing breathing work. Deep breaths in and out and consistently. And then look, you're on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing because it's working. Uh-oh, I'm sorry, Sky. I done got all extra hype and pulled up on my damn. And then look, Oracle cards. You're able to discern the answers and guidance for yourself and others through Oracle cards. This is what you are supposed to be doing. Again, with writing, infinite abundance. You are fully supported as you devote yourself to your full life purpose. Just have faith. Trust the process. Trust your feelings and your dreams to guide your career path. Baby, listen, I'm, I'm going to just leave that right there because that, that was just enough for any and everybody. Okay, so I'm leaving it here. I love you guys. Peace.